Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. And before we get started, let's get uh, shout outs out of the way. Today's shout outs go to JR1322 and Jaden Fa Fabri. Both of them were first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus wins a shout out. So, what do I got for you today? This is the Show Me or Zaomi, however you want to pronounce it, Me Too drone. The Me Too drone is a little optical flow position hole drone. In fact, its optical flow sensor is right there. You can just barely see that little tiny optical flow sensor. It also has an acoustic uh, sensor on the bottom to help it in altitude hold capability. I also think it combines that with a barometer altitude hold. Uh, and what it does is it gives it a very steady altitude hold. Now, it also comes with a 720p HD camera that also records in 1600 by 1200 still photos. So, you know, you, you it's not just simple um, snapshots or snaps of the video that it's providing for the stills. It actually uh, has, you know, uh, four to three resolution stills. Um, it is powered by a proprietary battery, unfortunately. That's one of the things about it. Here, here's the its battery. I guess Show Me is going to be producing uh, more of these so you can keep on flying with it. But uh, it is a 920 milli amper hour 3.5 watt hour battery i'm assuming it's th yeah 3.8 volts 3.8 volts so it's a lihv battery not 3.7 volts so let's put that battery back in there so on off switch is right here powered by these uh i believe they're 820 motors on here uh, and uh other than that oh one other thing it does <laughs> have an IR sensor on it. What's the IR sensor for? Well, this also has a battle mode that you can uh, fly via the app and go against other people with these these drones and shoot shoot each other. Eventually, I don't know what happens, <laughs> how that works, but I'm not going to be doing battle mode today. But it does have that feature, so that makes it neat too. So it's a little pocket drony that you can take with you, take videos, take stills, um, easy to fly, and also has battle mode. So let's go for a flight as thick as he outperforms. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, to start it up, you press this on off switch here and hold it down for a few seconds until you see an orange light right there. And we are ready to go in terms of turning it on. But let's put it on the ground there and we'll fire up its uh, app. Okay, this is the Me Drone app available on Google Play and iTunes. Now, um, there are two versions of this app. And one version is in Chinese and the other version is in English. I will include the link to the English version down below because I started off with the Chinese version and it was very confusing. I had to use my wife's phone and use Google Translate to translate it. But then eventually I found this English version. So all is good now. But I want to show you uh, the settings. Let me click on the settings button in the upper right corner. And uh, we have gallery, camera, you know, you can set the camera settings, Wi-Fi management settings. You can upgrade the firmware. I recommend doing that uh, before your uh, first flight. Um, it does have height restrictions that you can set. Let's click that. Um, right now I have it set to six meters of height. That's more than sufficient for what I want to use it as a selfie drone, but it can go up to 25 meters height. Keep in mind that when you go up to 25 meters, you probably are not going to be using uh, optical position hold. It's not going to work, okay? You're going to need to have uh, keep it relatively close to the ground for position hold to work. So I don't recommend going up too high with that. Um, we got calibration of the gyros, joystick sensitivity. I have it set to medium. And um, toggle joysticks mode. You can fly it in mode uh, one or mode two. I got it set to mode two. And all finally, a beginner's guide on the bottom here. It shows you uh, basic operation of the quadcopter as I'm going through here. Okay, that should be about it. Um, let me go back to the beginning and come out of that. And we're going to start off with a, a, oh, one other thing. This has that battle mode. See the controller uh, on the left side there? If you press the controller button there, it enters battle mode. <laughs> so you can shoot at the other drone while you're flying. <laughs> okay, we're going to start off automatic takeoff. And, and also starting the video camera. Hold on, let me set the camera. Video camera on. Now this has three gigabytes of onboard storage for holding videos, taking videos or pictures and videos. Okay, there's its position hold. Let me get in the picture. Go up a bit higher. Say, I like my shirt today, folks. <laughs> it works very well. You know, it's a neat little quadcopter to take with you. Now notice I don't have um, any prop guards on there. Okay, and it's a bree little bit breezy day today. I find that with those prop guards on there, this thing is kind of unstable outdoors. 
So if you're flying outdoors, I recommend taking off the prop guards. Okay, let's go a bit higher and see what type of altitude we can get here before we start losing control. Let me go a little bit forward too. We are up about, I don't know, 10 feet. Going higher, 12 feet. Let's rotate from up there. Showing the Upjohn Park here <laughs> in Ridgecrest. Okay, it's holding its position, going up a little bit higher. Oh, maximum height reach. That's right, I have this set for maximum height. So let's come back down again. And show me, or let's get the sun in the right position here. Now, uh, I am going to do a landing because I want to show you the next feature this has. Hand launching. <laughs> For those of you who like to hand launch, don't want to take off from the ground, it can do such. You got to hold it real steady first. <laughs> My hands are not going to hold it very steady, but hit OK. And there you go. We can do a hand launch too. So, neat little. Um, this is, I guess they're saying this is supposed to be a competitor to the, um, what do you call it? Hold on, Quadcopter 101 has, is having a brain uh, freeze right now. <laughs> Tello is supposed to be a competitor to the Tello. But, uh, you know, well, let's see. It's a, it doesn't have image stabilization. Got a little bit of jello -y image, too. Let's go out now, out and around. See how it performs flying. Not too bad, flying with the sticks on the virtual joysticks on my phone. How far out can we go? Oh yeah, I got it set to 25 meters. <laughs> well, I'm farther than 25 meters. So it's not too bad. Not too bad of a drone at all. Fun little thing. Okay, I haven't taken any pictures yet. Let's land it right, or stop it there. Okay, I'm going to start, or stop the video and take a photo. Come over, point it this way sun right in my face so you can see me come up a little closer to the camera and say hi hi ma <laughs> so that's its pictures um, you also have headless mode on this headless mode control so let's try that out and pushing forward on the stick which way is the headless mode direction direction it's pointed while it's in flight <laughs> turning the drone out bond Bringing the drone back. So, with headless mode, we can do a panning shot. Or, not a pan, a um, what you, crane shot going up and out. <laughs> now bringing it back. So, headless mode works, works very well. Okay, uh, I'm going back to normal mode, coming out of headless mode. Let's push forward. And bring it down. Oh, and I wasn't even recording there. Starting the camera back up again. I'm doing a little sync <laughs> to get the camera synced up. Um, gyro control. Let's try that. Okay, you got to hold your thumb down, if I remember correctly. Selecting gyro control. Yeah. Try it one more time here. Oh. Well, I can't get the gyro control to work. <laughs> it was working the other day. But never mind that. Let's get back in the picture. Continue flying. Um, okay. Our battery is starting to get a little bit low. You can see the L sign. So one more time, we're going to go up. And I just want to go up to about its maximum height that it allows me, which is right about there. And remember, I could set that height even higher. OK, I don't want to do a rotate of the area. I could set that height higher if I wished, but I don't want to <laughs> because, again, 
you go up higher, you are going to lose it, folks. So I recommend keeping it down low, especially you beginner pilots. It's, <laughs> it's not meant for long range control. Although, uh, my, well, there is something I forgot to mention at the very beginning. This is a five point or five G. It's time to land, I guess. So let's let's stop it there. Battery low. Battery low. Please be careful. I am. Yeah, let's. We're going to continue flying until the battery is depleted. Actually, I want to see what it does. But uh, it is a five G Wi-Fi uh, quadcopter. Okay, which means 802.11 AC. Not everybody has 802.11 AC. Uh, capability keep that in mind so you before even considering purchasing this drone make sure your phone is capable of 802.11 AC so that's it now I'm not gonna that's about it I'm gonna land it now uh, even with the battery low uh, I ain't gonna fly it all the way because I don't want to kill the battery but let's hit landing and hit OK and will it stop okay what how long does it take before it stops <laughs> There we go. I don't want it to land in the grass. I don't want dirt in it. That. But it's a neat little quadcopter. Again, this is the B2 drone. So hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101. Signing out.